Rarely is surgery for back pain, which is kind of a surprising thing. I'm a back and a neck surgeon, and I almost never, with very few exceptions, operate for back pain or neck pain. Mm -hmm. Really, the surgeries that we do are most useful and predictably beneficial for pinched nerves, which cause not neck and back pain, really, but arm mm -hmm. pain and sciatic mm -hmm. down the mm -hmm. leg. So you hear people say, oh, my aunt had back surgery, her back still hurts, or she was never better, or this and that. My neighbor had back surgery, he's still on narcotics mm -hmm. for back pain. Mm -hmm. And and unfortunately, when back or neck surgery is done for the wrong reason, mm -hmm. it's not as effective. So we mm -hmm. talk about 50% chance of 50% relief with surgery for back pain. That's abysmal. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing a 50% job, I need to do something else, do something better. But the results of back surgery for sciatica are dramatically better. We're talking about 95% of people mm -hmm. are dramatically better mm -hmm. with respect mm -hmm. to their pain shooting down their leg. So the vast majority of the surgeries I'm doing is actually to relieve pressure on nerves. And those patients are so thankful and so grateful because they often feel better immediately.